and then the country of residence which is Pakistan are you a national of the country in which you are applying yes of course she will she is a Pakistani is it your first passport it wasn't her first passport so I clicked on no and it brought this window here as well which I clicked on add and I entered the previous passport details which was Pakistani passport as well document number the issuing authority which was Pakistan and which exactly and the date of issue which exactly states on on her uh, passport on her old passport and then is this document lost stolen or in possession it was in her possession so I mentioned that and I clicked on add and it brought these details here I could have edited if there was a mistake but it was not a uh, in my case this was not the case so I just leave it as it is then I mentioned a travel information which says are you traveling with anyone I clicked on no date of planned arrival in UK I mentioned that already how long you do you intend to stay in the UK I mentioned forever and then what is the main address and contact details of where you will be staying whilst in the UK she will be staying with me so I put down my um, name and details here then sponsor postcode and sponsors contact details so I put down my mobile number and then in secondary contact number I did provide it my work landline um, since I do not have a residential landline and in daytime I'm usually at work so I thought of providing my work landline and then I provided my work email as well and I clicked on next section and it turned this section into green which means this this is this section is complete and now I'm on this personal details and travel history so what is your permanent residential address and contact details so I provided my applicants uh, permanent residential address country was Pakistan her mobile number and secondary contact number I provided my mother's um, contact mobile number since she was living with my mother at the moment with my parents at the moment and the email address her email address How long have you lived at this address? So she has been living here for three years. This um, permanent residential address is her parents address actually. So which I have mentioned. Uh, because it was on our ID card as well. As well as on the Nikanama or the marriage certificate as well. Um, are your preferred contact details different from the contact details already provided above this was yes in our case because my wife was living with my parents so I mentioned my parents um, home address which is also uh, applicants address country was Pakistan the primary contact number secondary contact number applicant email so and have you okay the next section is travel and criminal history so it says have you been issued any visa for the UK UK overseas territories or Commonwealth country in the last 10 years this was no in my wife's case have you ever traveled to UK in the last 10 years it was no as well have you made an application to the home office to remain in the UK in the last 10 years? It was no as well. Have you been refused entry to the UK in the last 10 years? That was no. Have you 
been refused a visa for any country including the UK in last 10 years? That was no. Have you been deported, removed, otherwise required to, required to leave any country including the UK in last 10 years? No. Have you ever voluntarily elected to, the, to depart the UK? No. And are you or have you been subject to an exclusion order? No. Have you ever traveled outside your country of residence? excluding the UK in the last 10 years. That was yes in my wife's case. So I added all the details. So date of travel. Country visited what was United States of America and reason for trip was spring break. So I did that. And I went to the next question which says, have you ever been issued with a UK national insurance number? There was no. Have you ever been convicted of any criminal offense in the UK or any country? It was no as well. Have you been arrested and charged with any offense in any country or are awaiting or are currently on trial? That was no. Have you ever been involved in supported or encouraged terrorist activities in any country? No. Have you ever by any means or medium expressed views that justify or glorify terrorist violence? Of course not. Uh, in the times of either peace or war, have you ever been involved in suspected or involvement in war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide? No. Have you engaged in any other activities that might indicate that you may be admitted to UK? May not be admitted to UK? It was no. If we need to interview you, what language do you like to use in the interview? I mentioned English and Urdu. Have you ever received any penalty in relation to criminal offense? No. Have you had any court judgment against you or for payment of any debt? No. And I clicked on next section. Okay, after completing the personal details and travel history, it also um, turn into green and now I am on to the next section which says family details. It states about a spouse, partner, uh, father information and then mother information. I will start with spouse, partner. What is your marital status? It's married and will your sponsor partner be traveling with you? I would say no. It was no in our case. Uh, current passport or travel document number? Here I was a bit confused and uh, I actually filled down my wife's details here who was the main applicant. However, um, I, when I got my application checked, um, uh, actually I have one of my uncles are a very experienced solicitor and an immigration consultant um, who checked my application once I completed all of these sections and pointed towards this uh, that it's this section relates to spouse details and not the applicant's details. So I changed my wife's uh, details into mine. So I provided my passport number and my details in the in this section. So I would say sponsor passport and nationality is British citizen. And family name, surname sponsor last name or spouse last name sponsor or spouse first name sponsor's date of birth which is my date of birth does your spouse partner currently live with you this was no in my case so I put no and and then I put my UK home address. Country is UK. The sponsor's mobile number, which is my mobile number. And I put down my work number here and then 
my email address. The next section is father. Father and mother are the details of father and mother for my wife. So, which is basically my father-in-law and mother-in-law. So I have to fill this details since I have, I'm filling this form from applicant's point of view. So it will be father and mother of the applicant. So my father-in-law is also, or my wife's parents are also Pakistani. So I mentioned the nationality. So I put on applicant father's surname, father's first name, applicant father's date of birth. Before filling this section, I asked my wife uh, to get the passports of both her father and mother so that we fill all these details according to their passport. And it's always good to have them in front of you so that you do not have any spelling mistakes. Then the mother detail as well. And then that's it as far as father and mother details are concerned. Next section is about dependent children. Do you have any dependent children? It was no in, in our case. Non-dependent children, it's no in our case as well. And it says, are any other children traveling with you? So that was a no. And I clicked on next section. So family details section is complete. The next section is about employment. In the employment section, it asks about have you ever worked for an organization, state or non-state listed below, armed forces, government, judiciary, media, public or civil administration, security. So I mentioned yes, because my wife, uh, she's a doctor and she works in a in government sector. Uh, she worked, she has worked in the government sector, so I mentioned that. And type of organization, so I mentioned the government, it's for the government, she worked in a local hospital, so I put down the hospital name. A job title. Start date and the finish date. Then they asked about what is your current working status. So she was employed full time and now she was working in a private hospital. So I mentioned what is your total monthly income. I mentioned her monthly income uh, in PKR, which is Pakistan rupees. What name of the company organization? That was a private hospital name again. Mm, applicant job title and can work duty. The address of her current employer which was a hospital name oh sorry hospital lane 